Hey everybody, RC here. Wanted to talk a little bit about how to set up rollovers in Photoshop. So let's cover a couple of them here. I'm going to click on File. I'm going to click on New. And let's just set up a basic rollover. We know that we don't have image ready anymore. So I'm just going to click on 400 by 200. I'll leave the resolution at 72. And I'll call this Rollover Test. And then I'll click OK. I'm going to make a solid color fill layer. I'll take the solid color fill layer. I'll leave it as black. And I'm going to use my text layer. So I'll click on the text layer tool here. And I'll select a white color. And I'll set it to left align. The Trajan Pro is not going to work for me. I'm going to use one of my favorite new fonts here, which is Bank Gothic. And I'll just type in about me space. I'm going to do a pipe that's just the shift and directly under the delete and the back where the backspace is, you have the pipe there. So about me, contact us, space. I'm going to do another pipe and I'll just do the word blog. Now I can't see what I'm doing here, so I'm just going to Command A to select all. And I'll come over here to the text tool and I'll grab this and I'll drag it to the left so that it kind of sets that up. I can move without even hitting the Command Enter yet to commit this type. I can move my cursor right here. I'll move this over and I'll drag this over to the right a little bit just so that I have a little bit more text. Put that right there. Now I'll do a Command or Control Enter. Those are my three slices that I'm going to set up here. So we'll go to the Slice tool. I'll click on the Slice tool and I'll click Drag. And don't mind my AC. But I'll drag one out. I'll drag the second one out. And I'll drag the third one out. Now I'm not focusing too much on slices because obviously we can do that in another lesson. Just want to focus on getting the slices set up. So now I can drag this up here, use my slice select tool, drag that up there, slice select tool, drag that up there. Those are my slices. Maybe I'll do one more slice here at the bottom. I'll cut that out. There's our fourth slice. Now I can use the slice select tool by just double clicking on this and the URL is going to be about.htm and I'm going to go to contact us. I'll call this contact.htm. Double click on blog. Call this blog.htm. And this isn't an image, so I'm just going to leave this as no image. And I'll click OK. So it's a standard slice. I'm going to click on File and Save for Web and Devices. In here, I can use the Save for Web option to specify how I want these saved. So if I want this to be a GIF image, I can specify that. If I want it to be, if I want this to be a JPEG, I can specify that. I'm just going to select all of these and I'm going to use a GIF 32 no dithered. And once I have that set, I'm going to click on save. It's going to ask whether or not I want to save these images. Right now the format is set up to images only. I'm going to go to my desktop. I'm going to make a new folder called rollover dash or underscore test. I'll click on create. And I want to save HTML and images. The settings are going to be default and I want to save all the slices. So I'll click save. Now that that's done, I'm going to go over here to Dreamweaver. Let's go ahead and I'll go ahead and I'll, I'm going to do a save and I'll save this here in the desktop as well. I'll just save it right on the desktop. I don't want to save it in that rollover test because that's going to be the root folder for the website. So I'll close this. I'll come over here to Dreamweaver and I'll decide I'll define a site. Go to site, new site, and I'll just call this rollover site. And I'm going really fast on this because obviously I have two DVDs that wind up covering this on the Kelby Training website. So if you go to KelbyTraining.com and inside of the Kelby Training website, 
I have a class on Dreamweaver 101 that shows you how to do all of the stuff to finding a site. And I also have a class on how to be able to use Photoshop and Dreamweaver and put them together. So I'm kind of just going through this really, really fast because I'm, we're not really covering how to be able to find a site. But if I show you quickly, I just have the advanced tab. I give it a name. I go to my local root folder, go to the desktop, go to rollover test. That's going to be the default root. So I'm going to click choose. Remote info, if I had an FTP site, I would set it up here. But since I don't, I have an access of none. That's fine. I click OK. Sure enough, there's the HTML file. Here are the images. So now if I double click on this, that's the HTML. If I single click, one, two, three, those are the three images. Now, time for me to be able to set up the rollover. I'm going to go back into the Photoshop file and I'm going to click on File, Open. And I'll go ahead and open the rollover test file. Now that I have that open, I'm going to single click on my text tool and I'll change the color to red. And I'll click OK. In this case, I'm going to do a file and I'll do a save for web and devices. This time around, when I click on save, I don't want just HTML and images. What I'm going to do is I'm going to uncheck that and I'm going to go to images only. And under the settings, I need to change one thing. I'm going to go to other. And this is the one that I want to say, the, the, the one that I want to change under the saving file section. There's HTML slices, background and saving files. I'm going to change this to make sure that it doesn't set something in the images subfolder because I don't want to create another subfolder called images. I'm going to uncheck that. And what that does is it prevents you from creating that extra subfolder. I can click on save and save that as a preset. I've already done that. I call it no image subfolder. All that is is just this checkbox being unchecked. So I'm just going to click on cancel and I'll show you. Under the settings, here I have no image subfolder. So I set it to images only. I set it to my no image subfolder preset. And inside of this site, under the images section, I'm going to make a new folder and I'm going to call it over. So images only, no image subfolder preset. I made a new folder inside of the image folder called over and I click on save. That drops those three images with the red text inside of a folder inside of here of images. Notice if you wait a couple seconds there, they show up. Now all we have to do is set up the behavior in Dreamweaver. So I'm going to go to window and under window I'll have behaviors. I'll highlight the first graphic and then I'll click on add behavior. Under the add behavior, swap image. That's the first graphic that we have there. I'm going to set that source to, uh, let's go ahead and drag this over here. I'm going to go to the images. I'm going to go to the over section. The first graphic, fine. I'll click on choose. It's going to preload the image and it's going to restore the image as soon as you move the mouse off of this. So click OK. That looks good to me. Go to the second one, same thing. Click on this, swap the image. What are you swapping the second one with? I've got to go browse. It's that second graphic. Click choose. Looks good to me. It's going to restore it. That's fine. Go to the third one. Click on the drop down, swap image. Set the source to, click on browse. Take the third one, click choose. Pretty good. Click OK. Stop it. Now that we've done that, we can save this. Just do a command and control S. And I'll click on this drop down here and preview in Safari. There's our section. If you hover your cursor over it, not bad. So quick rollovers on using Photoshop and Dreamweaver together.